Hi everyone! Today's the Magical Creatures prompt for the Harry Potter Nell Art Challenge, so I painted these Akami-inspired Nells with chrome accents to represent the Akami silver eggshells. I began by applying a base coat to all of my Nells, and then I painted my pinky and index Nells with a black polish, and used a light blue shimmer for my middle and ring finger Nells. The light blue polish that I used is actually a Harry Potter-inspired polish from Blue-Eyed Girl Lacquer called Bianto Duri. Moving back to the pinky and index fingers, I applied a water-based top coat to my nails and allowed them to dry before rubbing chrome powder into the top coat. If you need a more in-depth tutorial on how to apply chrome powder without gel polishes, I've left a link to one of my previous videos in the description box. After I finished applying the chrome powder, I just added a layer of top coat to all of my nails before moving on to painting the Akami. Once my nails were dry, I used a detail brush and metallic green acrylic paint to draw the outline of the Akami's head and neck extending over my two blue nails. I then filled in the outline with the same shade of green paint. Next, I used light blue paint to add thin feathers sprouting from the Akami's head and the base of its neck. I then added some purple and darker blue to these feathers. For the face, I first mapped out the upper part of the eye and the middle of the beak using black paint. After that, I used a dark metallic blue to add feathers to the head by painting rows of very thin lines all over the head. Moving to the part of the neck on the other nail, I added some larger patches of this blue as well. I then mixed my original green paint with a bit of black to add some shadowing to the neck and head, and I also used the darker green to paint lines at the base of the feathers extending from the head. I then added touches of orange to some of the feathers. Before moving on, I fixed the overly smooth look of the neck by just painting some feathers extending from the top of it. Next, I painted the beak with light tan paint that extends to the edges of the bottom black line that I had previously painted. I then added some shading using a slightly darker shade of tan. I added the eye by first painting a dark brown circle and outlining it with black before adding a black pupil and some small white dots to show the reflection of light. Finally, I used two different shades of gray to paint a horn protruding from the Akami's head, and I added some detailing with black paint. Once all the paint was dry, I sealed my nails with a final coat of top coat. These nails turned out to be a little more abstract than I had planned, but I actually really liked how they turned out, so I hope you all did too. As always, you can leave any suggestions for my next set of Harry Potter themed nails in the comments below, and you can view my complete set of Harry Potter tutorials in the playlist here.